Okay, so just a quick video today about the Pimax Crystal now with the latest beta software. I've got all the functions unlocked, which hopefully sooner or later you'll all have access to. Now, of course, the star of the show is the eye tracking, which enables auto IPD. Um, it also tells you if you're wearing it correctly on your head. And, of course, the possibility of fovea, uh, dynamic foveated rendering in the future. So we're going to go over that and a few functions today. I'm going to show you how to set up the eye tracking, how it works, and just talk about a few other bits and bobs. You may have noticed this on the bottom here, and that's just because when I'm sat in my motion rig, which is quite noisy, I actually use the Soundcore P10 VR earbuds, which are pretty awesome. Done a video on that if you want to check that out. Otherwise, I do actually use these in any other situation. They're fairly decent. Okay, so we're basically going to switch over so you can see the screen here with the settings and let me bring up device settings and you can see here we've got the option of lighthouse because the lighthouse base plate the uh, face plate is out to purchase um, hopefully I'll be getting one soon giving that a try and a test looking forward to that um, 120 Hertz does work but they say it currently it can dip between sort of 115 and 120 obviously bear in mind this is all beta it's all been um, you know currently worked on and here we go you can see the eye tracking down here uh, auto ipd you can uncheck so obviously if you know your own and you just want it set up for yourself turn that off but if you're sharing a headset around it's good to have that on because every time someone puts it on it'll adjust for them but once you've got it set once for yourself just turn it off and wearing reminder is pretty cool it's like the psvr2 as well when you put it on it comes up with a very quick message whether you need to move the headset up or down because with this headset you do need it in the right place to stop uh, any sort of warping it's easy to do but it's a quick message that comes up it's very nice goes away very quickly um and yeah so i'll show you the uh calibration uh, in fact one more thing quickly if i go into advanced I just want to show that local dimming level is available to set here now by default it's probably on extreme for you and so you get great blacks but you can get a lot of sort of ghosting or blooming looks weird um so what i've done is actually in the player profile.json i've put it at 0.01 if you don't know what i'm talking about there that's fine i've just done a previous video uh recently looked that up and i think that's the best setting really because you get better blacks than no dimming but you get no dodgy blooming or ghosting okay so i'm going to go ahead and click calibration and you'll see what comes up it's pretty much like the psvr2 put this on my head and as you can see you do need a controller to hand for the the buttons down there you basically follow a dot around it's exactly the same as psvr2 if you have one of them maybe the arrow can't remember how that did it i think it was about the same so just continue and follow the dot with your eyes. It's very bright, by the way, slightly uncomfortable, not as bad as the PSVR 2. Oh, that, and that is absolutely perfect. As you can see, I'm looking around. And if you needed to retry, redo it, you could. But I'm going to do calibration complete. And there we are. It doesn't do the IPD directly after that. But what I'll do now is I'll put it on. Unfortunately, you won't see it come up on screen. But as I put it on, it's telling me to lower it a bit. And now it's okay. And now it's doing its auto IPD. But it's already in the right place for me. To basically get green lines. And it will show you them getting sharper as the IPDs auto adjusted. So yeah, pretty good stuff there. Okay, so the eye tracking works just as it should. Pretty fantastic. And I look forward to really when we can be using dy dynamic foveated rendering and everything. Of course, at the moment, uh, it's possible to use it in DCS and uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hopefully soon when the um, OpenXR Toolkit is released that enables it. I know there's beta versions people have got access to. Unfortunately, I don't. But hopefully other games in the future to give us that little bit extra headroom for performance. So also I have the all-in-one uh, option available now. There's a little switch on the side here which turns it into all-in-one mode. And it does work. It's not great at the moment. There's not much on there. But uh, basically when you put it on, you have to either do a quick setup or custom setup for room. It's basically 
the same pretty much as any other standalone headset. Um, it works, it's fine. I've got no access to anything other than Open Brush, which is free on there. Um, the UI is it's all in beta, it's very early stages, and they have said they are their focus is on PC VR, but this is sort of sort of bonus to have. Um, the, the UI and stuff needs some work on it. It works, but it's not as highly polished as as like the Quest, for example, you know. But uh, yeah, it it all works, and hopefully I'll get some more stuff to try in, it in the future. But what we really want, obviously, is a virtual desktop or something similar. That's not available at the moment, unfortunately. And as and when that or something similar comes out, that'll be a complete game changer. That'll be fantastic when we can use this actual for wireless PC VR gaming. Yeah, I just want to also mention that there's a, a setup guide that people might not be familiar with. Pimax have released a, a full-on setup guide. And uh, let me just show you it on screen here. And I'll put the link below if you want to follow through this. Um, for me, just it just pretty much plugged in and worked. I didn't have any issues, but this guide may help some of you. And I think some people aren't even aware it's there. They've done some videos on it as well. So it might be worth checking out for you. Uh, I won't run through the whole thing. I'm just really making you aware of it. And uh, likewise, you might not be aware that you can actually pay in installments if you want to jump ahead and get a crystal. Uh, then using PayPal or Klarna, you can pay by monthly installments. Just I mentioned that because apparently not many people are aware of that either. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for now. Uh, I'm having a good time with this headset. I still haven't done a full review. Uh, every video I make is kind of a review in progress. Um, but so far, I am really enjoying it. I've actually been playing a lot of seated games with it. It's mainly what I use it for, Cockpit and Sims, but I've been playing quite a bit of Demio, um, which looks fantastic with the black background because I turned the basement off and just the table there. Just every time I put it on, the clarity and the detail is just uh, phenomenal, really. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get the face plate soon enough, lighthouse tracking and... I'll be able to play it with the index controllers, so I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so any comments or questions, drop them below, and I'll always try to answer. Otherwise, that'll do it for now, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.